feels like traveling back in time to the 50s or early 1900s here. Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode here from Clan and Maro here from New Zealand. We're currently still living in Wellington and we're gonna make a day trip today to the Castle Point Lighthouse. It's a two and a half hour drive from Wellington where we're staying and right now we're in Featherston, a beautiful little town. If you haven't watched our previous episode, we checked out this cute little town before when we went to Martinboro on the pinnacle. So we're gonna just have like a short stop because I love the bakery here so much and it's Saturday market again and then we're gonna make our way to the Castle Point Lighthouse. On the way we're gonna stop in different cute little towns and see what we find and explore. Hello, how are you? Hey, partner. Bring it in the middle here. Good to go. Thank you. Thank you. Right. What's your name again? Claire. Claire and Your wife? Maddo. Yeah, sorry. Maddo. It's a lovely thing. Yeah. Nice the meeting you. You too. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, the best too. What a lovely little town. So we're gonna check out the little bakery here. It's called Baker and I've been here before and it was absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna treat myself to another little pastry. Pastries, whole grains. Oh, lovely. It's your second time here. Uh, best bakery in town, yeah? It was delicious. Oh, I'm so excited. They look so good. So I got a pear chocolat. Like always. You got that last time as well. We visited no, I got this, this town. One last time. It was so delicious, guys. And like every Saturday, they have this cute little Saturday market. So and you definitely have to check out Featherston. It's so cool, and it's the book capital of New Zealand. They have a lot of bookshops and crystal and whatever kind of cool shops in such a small place. So I think we have to hit the road because we have another one and a half hour drive ahead of us. Long trip, isn't it? Yeah, but yeah. I hope it's worth it. The day, the the weather is beautiful again. So. I always get lucky here. Yeah. yeah. The sun is always shining yeah. here in New Zealand it's for us. Maybe it's so a look at the Irish. Yeah, what's, what's there to say? Oh my it's god, you're in my We are in the city center of Greytown. We are passing through. We have no choice. What, you are recording the area, Maddo? Yeah. Oh wow. So this town is really known for its old Victorian buildings and they're good at maintaining the Victorian style here in town and also there's about a population of 2,000 people. Look at the beautiful buildings guys! Oh my god, it's actually really nice. I haven't, we haven't drove through here yet so... No. Look at it, look at the building on the right. Look at that Victorian style Madeline. Oh wow! Uh, no, this one here. Oh wow, this is That is, is lovely. Is that how, it's like Martinborough. It's, it's a bit... It's gastro -pap. Yeah, it's It reminds like... me of Martinborough. I think we should stop maybe and just have a little... Um, Walk around maybe just quickly. Maybe we stop here somewhere in the right. Oh, you can't. Maybe uh, over there. Just don't <gasps> oh, look at this cute. Oh, yeah, we have to park there. There in front of this car there. Yeah, so we just jumped out of the car for a few minutes just to check out Great Town. It was like established in like maybe around 1854, and it's where working people um, settled here in the area. So from that, from that year. But it's an absolutely beautiful town. The building is thriving with Victorian buildings. Look at that one over there, that is well maintained. That is looking clean. They did a great paint job on that, on that building over there. And no, that's a look, gallery, that's a gallery no, actually. We're looking at all the paint jobs because, because we've done so much paint. <laughs> we're always checking the detail of the paint guys. And there's a beautiful butcher's over there across the road in an old style of Victorian as well. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my God, they might have some nice meat discounts outside. <laughs> The small little town Greytown was awarded in 2017 as most beautiful small town in New Zealand. There you go, there's, yeah. a, there's a nice fact for you. I'm not surprised, it's beautiful. Oh, the, the CBD is definitely nice. I wonder what the outskirts is like as well. But So they do have around 2,400 people, population, it's a very small town, very sweet. And there's the butchers. That, I need to take a picture of that. That is so cool looking. Yeah. There's some real beef sausages here on sale. And then you have a Christian church here to the left. It's also very, very small. It is a bit sunny, guys. The sun is shining. It's very early in the morning, so the sun is only coming up. Um, oh, we're here in town. And there's an op shop, but it's not, it's not open, is it? Oh, that's very sad. That op shop looks so yes, yeah, full of really nice things. But unfortunately, it's not open today, so. Oh well, oh well. That's the Forest Police Station site. This photo. Oh, so wait. So uh, the town was like established in like the 1850s, so this was just after that date, 1865. I think this is the end of the CBD already. 
Okay. All right, guys, so we have a situation here. We have a church here to the left. Obviously, they need a bit of paint in that one, but there's a fresh church across the road. Yeah, Maybe that one's closed down, who knows? Very, like this Victorian influence, I don't really see any Maori kind of culture here. No. I don't know why there's two churches back to back though here, next door to, to each other. Maybe a Catholic and a Protestant. True, true, yeah, because it's the Maybe same style. Protestant? Yeah, uh, Protestant. Uh, and Catholic, Catholic and Protestant. Yeah, because they do have the same kind of style of church, so. Makes sense. Uh, that church looks fresh fresh out, out of the package so St. Andrew's, Andrews Union Church uh, so Union is that? I think it's a Protestant church then yeah? I don't know you, the Union Catholic, Jack Clinton. Union Jack I don't even know if you're Catholic <laughs> are you Catholic? I don't know I, I, I'm i not really religious but I, I respect our religion, religions you, guys were you like Christian and Catholic? I, yeah I was a Christian when I grew up but there's a nice little cafe also Victorian store there's the cute little butchers open for business Fridge, yeah, we can't buy any. Uh, no. We still haven't bought any meat in a butcher since we arrived in New Zealand, guys. There we go. There's the local, the local butcher, doing his business. Award-winning sausages, guys. If you want good sausages, yeah, this is the place cool. to be. Cool. Also, Great Town is known for antiques, uh, antique stores. You can buy a lot of old things here. There's one. Yeah, antique. Cross the road, antique store with a Victorian style as well. And that's a studio, that's a, like an art gallery, I think. It's, um, oh, it's a, there's actually a market. Local. It's a local market, yeah. Very cool. Oh, this is so cool. And someone is thirsty. You could put this in. I think that's homemade. That's, that's, that's like, it's knit and boy. Crafted. I want one of these. When it's my birthday, and then you hang this up. You sure? Yeah. Uh, maybe if you're lucky, if you're being, if you're, if you're good. They even designed the toilets in the style of the Victorian. I don't think it's a Victorian building, but they even designed it to match the view of the city. Look, all them little coffee shops. So many little coffee shops where you can go, even on a beautiful day you can sit outside. That's a cute building. Does that look like old church? I can't oh, identify. Wow, <laughs> is that an old church or what is that? What do you think what that was? It's a perfume store. Oh, oh now it's a perfume store? Oh, it's uh, renovated. <clears throat> um, I think it was an old church. Yeah, I think it definitely was probably one of the first churches here in town. Oh, yeah. I'm only guessing guys, but um, it looks renovated. It looks, looks very nice though. It's very small. So cute. Under the trees as well. Oh, lovely. You have a little market inside. Look, bicycle kitchen. The Saturday buy, markets, guys. They can buy pastry. I already got my pastry, but this looks cute. Bicycle kitchen. Oh, Oh, nice. They look delicious. They look delicious. Hello. There's another market. Stockkeeper Society. There's a lot of markets here in town. Um, what's it? Saturday, so. Oh, that's, that's my cup of tea. Your cup of tea? Another cup of tea. Cup of tea? <laughs> Hello. How are you? I have a camera. Yeah. Go yeah. GoPro. GoPro, yeah. <laughs> so you'll be doing exciting. I make Sorry. videos, I make videos, so. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. I see. Madeline just bought a crystal. I bought a keychain because we have the smallest key in the world and I'm afraid to lose it. <laughs> crystal keychain for a car key, yeah? The bicycle kitchen. Where's the key? It's in the car. Uh, here. In the car. <laughs> it's in my pocket. Look guys, this is the smallest key stand, so I put this on so we have like a cute little... I feel like the town is waking up now. Blackwell's Village Bookshop. So cool, isn't it? I can't put this on. It's such a cool, cool town. I think we're going to head back to the car now and head to our destination. Yeah. Where's the next town we're going to? Masterston. Mas Masterston. Yeah, there you go. And there's a lovely restaurant, guys. It's a bistro. The White Swan Country Hotel. And it is a hotel. Why are all these nice buildings over the hotel? That's fascinating. They renovate so much. They go through so many different generations of cool. hotels, shops, buildings. They always transform the buildings, the Victorian buildings, into something, something different. And also we have a solicitors. Even a the, solicitor. Even the solicitors. The solicitors have, like, have a nice building as well. Look at this. It's, so cute. it's cool, isn't it? Love Grey Town. That looks like the town hall. It probably used to be anyway. 
so clean as well it's so spotless so so ma well maintained here in town what is this place wow look at that paint job and I honestly like that the uh, really old buildings have these little signs The plaques, yeah, yeah But it wasn't a past, it was like a Masonic lodge, lodge, I don't know I think the best time is to come in the mornings when it's quiet And it's not too busy with people So, yeah, I have a Chinese takeaway But I haven't seen a town so beautiful in New Zealand since like, we arrived Blackswell and Sons. I think they just sell accessories and goods and clothes in there so cool it feels like we're traveling back in time to the 50s or early 1900s here loving the style here guys boutique a boutique store selling nice women's dresses and old designer outfits we have a blackswell workshop here in sons nice repair center here to the left down the the alleyway are you enjoying the town, Mado? Yeah, it's beautiful. Nice, isn't it? It is indeed. And then you have the property ladder here. Where yeah. oh, they're selling all the old Victorian buildings. Oh, look at this beautiful building. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That's so Buy this one then. Yeah. yeah. Guys, we're going back to the car. We're going to continue our trip to the next destination. You have the key. Bye bye, Great Town. Bye bye. Time to hit the road, Jack. Oh, that was nice. That was like the best 20, 30 minutes you can possibly spend in a town. It's amazing, guys. I'm not even over exaggerating. You have to come to Great Town. It's nice the way you can actually just pass by all these little towns. Yeah, in the way. yeah, amazing. Guys, I just found um, this sign with lavender field and shops on the way, so um, we're currently we're driving to this. Yeah, a little place in the middle, place, of, nowhere. In the middle of, of nowhere. Lots of sheep and stuff. Uh, a big box of lavender. Oh, uh, cute. I okay. think this is a. This is a home. It's a home, literally a home. Okay, it's we not have a shop. to pack somewhere. Shop is to the right. The same shop. Thing. Yeah, it's people. That's their homes. Oh my God! <gasps> Look at this. The lavender There's center. lavenders. Okay, maybe we park here. Are they already open? They should be open, yeah. Perfect. Oh, there's a woman there Perfect. anyway. There. Where? There. Okay. Madeline just seen a sign on the side of the road and wanted to come to this lavender shop on the way, so <laughs> why not? I always have to get pulled into these situations, but <laughs> it's all good in the hood. Look at this beautiful under lavender is growing. There's the lavender garden. The big box of lavender guys. So you can get some lavender products, I think. I think, I think I need a bit of soap. You have all the bees doing their work here, doing their pollination here. It is a lovely little place out here in the wild, isn't it? Yeah. Out on the countryside. Oh, there's alpaca. Uh, alpaca. There's an alpaca. Can you talk to it? I don't know. Maybe. So those are all her awards and her cups and everything. Oh, God. <laughs> Big selection, isn't there? There's the alpacas here in the background. He's curious in what I'm doing. And I don't think he's going to come near me if I have no food. I'd love to be in a, a farm with alpacas. Hello. You're beautiful. Enjoying the sun, doing a bit of sunbathing the use. They have very small legs, don't they? I uh, know, the grass is very high, Glenn. He has a cool hairstyle. He does, yeah. I wonder who, he, who his barber is. Bite you. Yeah, they're going to bite me, aren't they? Glenn, give me your... I'd like to pet your fluffy head. No. He's like, I want to ask you away. also who your barber is. A beautiful hairstyle. Yeah. I think we're supporting the local producers here. You bought some lavender oil lavender and some lavender Eddie. soap. You bought yeah. some goods. Just for Glenn. A little bit of lavender. I'll smell like lavender after my shower. Some lavender oil. Good job. Right. We're That's going to. Road. to we have a lot of stops left. Oh my god. Guys, we reached Masterston. It's only a short ride. Masterston? From a great town. And. I notice it looks more industrial. I don't see any Victorian or any old building. Unfortunately, but it is what it is. At least we get to see it. We're we passing by. We're anyway. gonna stop for a coffee. We are. I need a bit. I need my coffee and fix guys. <laughs> One Victorian building I just spotted, but other than that, it's all modern looking, guys. Yeah. Very built up. It's more spread out as well compared yeah, to Great Town. Big. Like it's more spread out, definitely. Much bigger, much bigger population as well. Oh, this is beautiful! It's the town hall of Masterston. 
Wow, well, this is a beautiful building. Whoa! That is that nice. Really cool. That is classy. Classy, classy, fancy. Town center. Yeah. It's beautiful mural. I liked it. Yeah, we have to go left here. Next to the left. Oh, this is a nice street. It's a nice area. Spices of India clan. And maybe we can find a park here on the left. Here, park somewhere. Guys, we just arrived in Masterson. So this is the biggest town in Wai Rara Pa region, guys. So we're also just passing by for a cup of coffee. And um, it's a lovely little town. We just passed a nice town hall as well when passing by. So it's really beautiful. Uh, I think Madeline's doing a bit of shopping. Madeline. So guys, Glenn needs his coffee fix. So we're going to the Trocadero Coffee. See what it's like. And has an old Victorian style as well. What's and the have, chances? And I have to say, like this side street is really cute. What's the name of it? Never been here. We've never never seen the area, so it's a force for everything. Force impression. We love doing our force impressions in towns around New Zealand. <laughs> Look at that place, that is lovely. They did a nice white paint job though as well. Alright. Nice coffee shop. Oh wow. Thanks very much. There you go, Glenn. There. Appreciate the hospitality. Yeah. It's a nice cafe, yeah. even to sit in. Do you notice the, for the spoons, they always have these silver spoons everywhere. Yeah, that's interesting. In the cafes. I've only seen that in New Zealand. That's a beautiful little dog. Oh, oh hello. How's the coffee? How's the coffee, Glenn? It's so? okay. It's okay. So, so. It's, I'm, not, I'm not feeling fruity. I'm not feeling the fruity <laughs> taste I'm looking for. It's uh, more of a Danny, bigger. you're becoming an expert. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an expert taster by now. Okay, guys, this is the last stop before we're heading to uh, Castle Point Lighthouse. It's another half an hour, I think, drive. Um, because we've already seen so much, we're gonna finish this video here and hope you stay tuned for the next video when we go to the Castle Point Lighthouse. Thanks so much See for watching. One, guys. See you in the next one. Madeline's very worried about my my safety. Whoa, look at this. What a place, guys. This is a 